Okay, here we are in the Pony Pasture Rapids. This is late August. This is actually a weekday afternoon. And uh, here we're getting ready to cross the bridge into the gravel parking lot. Occasionally this parking lot will be under a foot or more of water. The river comes up high, it will flood the parking lot pretty easily. Now this year, the water is fairly high. Normally in late August, the water gets very, very low. But we've had a lot of rain this year in August, which is rather unusual. Of course, this is 2021, and we've had major rain events in different parts of the world. There in Germany, Turkey, China, Japan, parts of America. And here in Richmond, that's not without exception. We haven't really had any major flooding. Here we see a fairly new park sign at the Pony Pasture Ra Rapids. And of course, they're talking about Join the Adventure, Captain John Smith, Chesapeake National Historic Trail. And there they're trying to outline it in red. So I guess part of that trail would include the Pony Pasture Rapids. Okay, here we have a, a map of the James River Park system, and uh, we're actually at the Pony Pasture Rapids Park, and it has a trail that's quite extensive. It reaches around a wooded area and into the wetlands, and it actually borders Willow Oaks Country Park. And uh, notice they have the beginner's white water there. Now, of course, as we go down river, we see other parks. Of course, the famous Belle Isle and Ann Caro's Landing, which, by the way, is extremely muddy. Um, uh, if you launch a boat there, make sure you do it at high tide. Watch out, because the uh, uh, river is influenced by the tide there uh, as we get towards the Chesapeake Bay. Okay, here we're actually overlooking the Pony Pasture Rapids. And of course the river is not excessively high, but it's not excessively low either. I would say that's kind of a medium height. So I've seen it so low where you can hop from rock to rock and we will make it all the way across the James River. And then of course so high that this is all underwater where we're standing. Now here we're walking from the parking lot to the Riverside Drive. This is a popular place for people to come visit and swim and sit on the rocks. But if the water is excessively high, it can be hazardous. And actually when the water is low, you need to be careful because if you slip and fall, especially striking the rock that can be quite dangerous. All right, here we see uh, a river level information sign. Of course, we're standing here at the Pony Pasture Rapids, and it's trying to give kind of level indications. Two feet, that would be a low, low river. And normally the river is low at this time of year, late August. It's a little higher because we've had a lot of rain. Five feet, I guess that would be kind of medium to high. And nine feet 
Well, of course, we get that in kind of a flood condition after a very heavy rain, certain time of the year. Now, I've seen the water level so high that it actually has come up over Riverside Drive, completely flooding the Pony Pasture parking lot. So the river level can get that high, and it does usually once or twice a year. This kind of sums up the Pony Pasture, the James River at the Pony Pasture. The river bottom is uneven, and certainly it is. You can be standing on a rock in one place, and it's six or eight feet deep in another, up and down. Okay, here we are on the south side of the James River, and there on the north side is one of the luxury homes along River Road. Now, just below that home is uh, one of the major dams, and that dam actually is uh, capturing water and directing it down the canal, going to the City of Richmond water treatment facility. Now, as we look out there, it's kind of hard to tell. It looks like water is coming over that dam, but uh, you know the water level is low when it's not. 